Hello and welcome to Managing Total Rewards class. This is a very, very interesting and fun course where we talk about compensation and we talk about rewards and benefits that our employees should be receiving in order for them to have a good quality of life and a high level of satisfaction along with productivity for you as a manager and for you as an owner or for the organization in general. So welcome to the class and I look forward to working with you and learning with you during this semester a little bit more about the best practices regarding compensation and employee benefits and rewards nationally and globally. Since some of you may not have been to campus recently because of COVID-19 or coronavirus fears and the campus being closed, so I decided to take a picture of our College of Business in Entrepreneurship for you this morning, which was beautiful. So having said that, when you have an opportunity, come by the campus, see us. I'm in the Carl DeSantis building on the fifth floor and draw by any time when you're on campus, when we're open. Um, I try to come to the office maybe once or twice a week uh, to uh, prepare for the lectures, uh, but hopefully these coronavirus fears will be over in a matter of a few weeks to a few more months and we can visit on campus and have traditional classes soon. So enjoy these photos of our beautiful campus and let us talk about the requirements for this course and the course syllabus soon. We're very lucky to have this beautiful campus and obviously one of the best campuses in the state of Florida, if not in the country, for a university. So in a beautiful, sunny state of Florida, it's always good to be on campus and visit with your colleagues, visit with your professors. So I look forward to seeing you here on campus as soon as it is feasible for all of us to be here face to face. And if you have been to campus and you have some good photos of yourself, please post them during your introduction to the class so we get to see you and you get to have a good memory of the campus. Unfortunately, we cannot see each other face to face, uh, but nonetheless, it's good to be able to uh, communicate via these videos, the lectures and discussion forums and emails. So learning is learning, regardless of whether it takes place in a face-to-face -face traditional format or online platforms, uh, which technology has enabled us to do. So it is good to have you in this class. And uh, it is a fun class because we're talking about compensation and we're talking about rewards, which impacts us all individually as employees and also as professional managers and owners and entrepreneurs as we try to provide a fair work environment and a fair day's pay uh, to our employees, to our colleagues. So you should be interested in this class simply because first you take care of yourself by making sure you're earning a good pay uh, for every day's hard work. Secondly, as managers, as owners, as entrepreneurs, hopefully you're also uh, making sure that you're paying your employees a fair day's pay. So having said that, the class should be interesting for all of us. It's a fun course. My recommendation is that you start with the course syllabus by closely reviewing all of the assignments and please follow the directions that are given to you and submit all of your work by the due date. So there are individual assignments and then there are also uh, group assignments if you choose to uh, work with another individual on a specific topic of interest to you. So there are a couple of textbooks that we will be using in this class. So these two textbooks are Primarily, we have the compensation textbook for all of you. So just like you, I also have basically this pamphlet. So where I got the textbook and I'm putting into this three ring binder. 
So this textbook has been around for many, many years. So I've been teaching this at least for the past two decades, since the late 90s when I started teaching in the master's program. So we've been using this textbook. And it's a very good textbook. As you can see, we have 17, 18 different chapters that you can benefit from. So all the chapters are not required reading for you. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, I have assigned you certain chapters to read closely. And then the other chapters are supplementary. So you should look through them. You should read them. You should review them. You should integrate them into your research papers um, and class discussions. Uh, but they may not be necessarily require reading for your exams. So in the second textbook that we will be using deals with employee benefits. So hopefully you'll also be able to get your textbooks uh, quickly. You need your textbooks by the first week of the class in order to stay ahead of schedule and determine your topics of research and the topics that you would be interested in writing a term paper about. So the goal is to focus on understanding the chapters and then try to focus on one area of research and write a really good project about that topic. Now, in a graduate program, obviously, you become partner in learning and researching with your professors and other colleagues in the class. So in this class, is the same thing. Since this is not a core course for all MBAs, it is a required course for those of you who are majoring or concentrating in human resource management. You should be able to individually write a paper that is publishable in value-added reading for any practitioner or academic researcher. So having said that, once you determine your topic, by the second week of the class, you should know exactly what that is. And you can communicate that in the class discussion uh, forums with your classmates to see who else is interested in that topic. So if two people, let's say, have the same topic that you would like to research, you're welcome to partner with that person. So as a group of two individuals, you'll be writing that paper. And your goal should be to make it a value-added journal article as a result of this class. So for the purpose of this class, I recommend that you follow APA format, that is the American Psychological Association format, fully. And then once the class is over, you get your grade, you meet all the competencies. After that, you can follow through by submitting it to a journal, to a conference, to hopefully get it published. And obviously, we'll be here to help you uh, and guide you in getting you published. Now, it's not necessary to publish, obviously, your papers. However, it is important for you to understand and demonstrate that you can conduct research based on scientific methodologies and based on literature that is published in credible textbooks in academic outlets like academic journal articles. As I said earlier, always start with the course syllabus and print it. So this we have a syllabus right in front of you or close to you during the semester so you can see all the directions for assignments. And we will now start by reviewing the course syllabus briefly. Okay, with regards to the course syllabus, I recommend that you print the version that is under the module section of the class on Canvas. Um, usually I'll email this syllabus on the first week of the class. So this one is a little bit more uh, printer friendly compared to the traditional one that is provided by the university. So the formatting is a little bit different, but the content should be exactly the same. So please follow this one that is under modules or the one that uh, I emailed to you during the first week of class. My information is available to you here. So I have uh, the office phone number, my email address. Apparently, whenever we are away from the campus, when the campus is closed, the best option is to email me and we can set up an appointment via Zoom or via telephone call or some other application and we can talk about any assignments uh, that, that you would like to talk and discuss. 
as part of the first page of the syllabus, you can see the course description here. So the course description gives you a good idea of what the class is about. Mainly we're talking about compensation and its importance basically for recruiting employees and keeping employees in your organization productive and satisfied so your company can not only survive, but hopefully do well to benefit you, benefit shareholders, and hopefully benefit society as well. As we move forward, you'll see the entrance competencies as well as the exit competencies for the class. So these are the learning goals for the program as well as for the course overall. And there are two textbooks that you will be uh, studying in this course. So both of them are referenced here for you. Of course, you don't have to have the latest version of the textbook. If you have an older version, that's okay. You may have to look at the topics in case the chapters have changed uh, a little bit. So sometimes uh, authors like to insert a new chapter or adjust the title a little bit. But for these textbooks so far, when I'm looking at the last few editions, most of the content is very similar. So if you have an older version, that's perfectly okay. Um, just read according to the titles and not necessarily chapter numbers, especially when they are different. But nonetheless, you can always look at the latest version on Amazon or some other uh, online uh, platform to look at what is inside uh, these textbooks, at least the table of content and sometimes the sample chapters that are available without having to pay for the entire textbook at the beginning. With regards to overview of the course content, what is covered, so in both textbooks, I recommend you reading certain chapters every single week. Uh, and I will offer short lectures without boring you to death, but my short lectures will probably focus on just a few chapters and I'll try to dissect it into short videos. Uh, this way I'll put them on several different uh, weeks of lectures. Uh, but nonetheless, you should be keeping up with your reading according to the assignment in the syllabus so you don't stay behind. So try to keep up with your reading and be proactive. Um, if you can get done with all of your reading, maybe the first two to three weeks of the course, then that allows you to write a really good research paper by integrating material from different chapters that relate to your research paper. And finally, with regards to assignment directions, the course syllabus gives you some details in terms of participation in discussion activities in the class, how to earn all of those points. And the first assignment is basically an introduction of your research paper. So this is something that you'll have to uh, submit fairly quickly during the first two, three weeks of the class so I know what topic you're working on and this way you get an initial grade for it and then you follow through with this research and make it a comprehensive paper that you submit toward the end of the class. So read the details very closely. Um, you're also required to do a chapter summary presentation. Since this is a graduate program and we're learning together, I look forward to you uh, presenting one of these chapters in about usually 15 to 20 minutes is sufficient. So you can present sort of like what I'm presenting now to you, or you can present using PowerPoint, or you can just videotape yourself and upload your file on YouTube, Facebook, or any platform that you can share publicly with us. Obviously, anytime you're putting any material uh, online on social media or on YouTube uh, for us to see, uh, you should put your name because you're producing something in a professional way. You're a master of business now. Therefore, everything you do should be helpful to others um, around the world. Uh, but obviously, uh, know your privacy and do not share any personal information with others other than your first and last name and maybe your affiliation with a university, which should be sufficient. So it should be a promotional tool for you in case you want to become a consultant in the future or if you want to teach in the future, then uh, this material should promote you and your brand overall. So this chapter summary is based on first come, first serve basis. Select a chapter, let your classmates in the class know which chapter you will summarize and present to the class so we all can learn from you. 
and everybody in the class will be better prepared with regards to examinations. And obviously the paper that you start at the beginning of the class um, is going to be finalized toward the end of the class. So that would be your written research paper that you'll submit. Again, this should be of publishable quality um, that you can hopefully present at a conference or publish into a journal into the future. But follow these guidelines closely and um, finally be prepared for your examination. So. Uh, again, examination is to test and make sure you read the textbooks. So the exams will have objective questions as well as essay style questions to assess your knowledge. The exams will be proctored and they will be limited to basically about one hour to 90 minutes total uh, to complete. Finally, please be aware of the policies regarding plagiarism. So anything you write, if it's not your own material, you do not come up with it, you should cite it or put it in quotation marks and provide the citation. So if you're following the American Psychological Association guidelines, you should be okay with regards to your written academic material. So always have the required university cover page as the first page with your name and your email address at least. Uh, and uh, the second page, you basically have your descriptive title and then introduction or abstract and follow through from there on writing your paper in the American Psychological Association format. Good luck. And I look forward to working with you and learning with you together during this term.